All right, so new NFL season, uh, 2018. Uh, the nonsense starts tomorrow night. Uh, so let's get some uh, picks in here real quick. Another uh, great season of NFL football. You know, all the aggravation. The why is my team not playing well? Why is all this nonsense happening? All the horse shit. Is this a catch? Is this not a catch? You know, should I drop this guy from my fantasy team? Should I not? Should I put in a waiver? Should I trade my whole team for James Conner because I picked up Le'Veon Bell? Is the guy kneeling? Is he not kneeling? Is he in the locker room? Yeah, so, you know, we get all that starts off uh, tomorrow night. Uh, so we got Atlanta and Philly to kick it off. Um, Philly's going to win this game. Uh, you know, Atlanta, you know, Atlanta's got some skill players, but th 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 this team's never winning the Super Bowl. Uh, after what they did two years ago, they, you know, they're just going through the motions. You know, there's the kind of thing where like 50 years from now it might be, you know, wow, remember when Atlanta could have won a Super Bowl, but they blew it? Um, so th that's where we're at with them. Philly, you know, I, I think, what, maybe one team, well, let's see, two teams I think have actually beaten a defending champion uh, going in to open the season since they started doing this. Uh, and Philly will be fired up, so Philly will win. Uh, Pittsburgh and Cleveland, uh, we're going to Sunday, uh, early games. Um, Steelers will win this game. The Browns should be better, but... You know they're still the Browns. You know I, I can't I can't take that team seriously until they do something. I know they're a they're a hot pick in Vegas now, um, but uh, Le'Veon Bell might be messing some things up uh, with, with holding out. He probably won't play, but uh, you know James Conner will do just fine. And you know congratulations if you got him in fantasy. Uh, Pittsburgh will win that game. Uh, let's see, Cincy at Indianapolis. I mean, these two teams are going nowhere. I mean, Luck is back, but, you know, he's, he's been away for a while. You know, we'll see. He'll probably be rusty the first few weeks. Um, this game's a toss-up. I'll go with the Colts just because Luck is back and the team will be fired up. Um, let's see. We got Tennessee at Miami. Uh, Tennessee's going to be good this year. Um, you, know, the, the, you know, they got Houston and Jacksonville in that division. Um, so they're in a tough spot, but I, I like Tennessee to, to, to make the playoffs again. Uh, I think Mariota has a big year. Um, you know, Miami, uh, I, I don't know what to do with Miami. I mean, Miami's literally done nothing since Marino. Um, I can't think of any signature moment the Dolphins have had other than maybe beating uh, Brady and the Patriots here and there once in a while. But, um, you know, it's just another uh, going through the motion season for them. Uh, Tennessee will win that game. Uh, San Francisco at Minnesota. Uh, I'm not sold on Garoppolo. Uh, he might be the guy. He might not be the guy. I really like Marquise Goodwin, though. Receiver. I went all in on fantasy. I got him in all three of my leagues. Uh, but Minnesota, you know, coming home, uh, you know, to start the season, that, that's going to be a tough game for them to, to open with. So I like Minnesota in that one. Houston at New England. Did Houston win this game? I feel like Houston won this game last year. I don't remember if they did or not, but um, you know this is you New know, England's tricky to start the year. I mean, obviously they'll you know they'll probably end up in the Super Bowl again, but um, you know they, you know, they, they, they got they got a little thinner receiver, um, and, and and Houston you know they got Deshaun Watson back. I like him a lot. Got got him in two of my three leagues. You know he's the real deal. Um, you know they got explosive receivers. Uh, okay, running game. Um, this this game's a toss up. I, I think New England probably pulls it out. I, I think there's a little too much hype on Houston right now. Um, I'm trying to see if did they win that game against New England last year. I felt like they did. Let's see here if it's gonna tell me in here. I don't feel like looking that up. Uh, I just remember it was a close game. Um, okay, man, we got, uh, let's see, Tampa at New Orleans. Uh, i tell you what, New Orleans is probably the best team in the NFC. And, uh, listen, all, all due respect to Philly last year, but, uh, you know, Stephon Diggs doesn't pull that catch out of his ass in the playoffs. Um, New Orleans goes to Philly the next week and beats them and goes to the Super Bowl. Um, so Philly got a break there, but uh, New, Orleans, the, the New Orleans is stacked. I mean, veteran QB, big playmakers on offense, good young defense. Tampa is going to have a nice fantasy year for, for some of those guys that you have there. 
but th- that team's going nowhere. I mean, Jameis Winston, when he comes back, you know, he, he's on and off. Uh, he's not consistent enough to get that team in the playoffs. New Orleans will win that game. Uh, Jacksonville at New York Giants. Um, I, I mean, I'll be honest. I'm completely biased against the Giants, um, so it's hard for me to look at them objectively. But, I mean, I, and, and I don't really follow the offseason moves so much. But, I mean, I look at the Giants. I, I got an aging quarterback. I got a, a wide receiver who just got paid. Uh, a rookie quarterback who's supposed to be amazing. Um, but, you know, he's already tweaked a hammy. Uh, I mean, what, what am I missing? I mean, is this team supposed to be good? I, I, don't, I don't know. Um, Jaguars, you know, came within a quarter going to Super Bowl last year. They should be able to build on that. Um, obviously, they have a great defense. Uh, I got Leonard Fournette in one of my leagues, so I'm excited about him. And uh, Jacksonville will win that game. Uh, Buffalo at Baltimore. It's going to be a long season in Buffalo. Um, you know, rookie quarterback. Now he's hurt. Uh, you got Nate Peterman. You got bad offensive line. You got no real dynamic skill players uh, other than a 30-year-old running back who may have off-the-field problems uh, running behind a bad line. Um Ravens, you know, Ravens are the Ravens. They're always there. Uh, they'll be competitive. You know, it's, it's usually them in Pittsburgh for the, for the AFC North. Um, and, and it probably will be again this year. And uh, I think yeah, Baltimore will win this game. Yeah, that's, not really a, that's not really a stretch there. Uh, moving to the Sunday late games. Uh, Kansas City at the Chargers. Really like Phillip Rivers this year. I got him in two of my leagues to back up my guys. Uh, I think he could have a big year if you got him late in your fantasy draft uh, and stacked your roster. Uh, I think he did well. Um, Kansas City r- rolling out Mahomes, you know that that era begins. Uh, I think this is a, a rough start for them uh, to to start the season. Uh, I'll take the Chargers uh, to win this game. Uh, let's see Seattle at Denver uh, rematch of Super Bowl Forty Eight. I think there's maybe three players left from that game that'll be in this game. Uh, maybe a couple more, but uh, that's, that's a tough game. Uh, you know, Seattle offense, you know, other than Russell Wilson, a lot of question marks, question mark at running back, question mark on the line. So Doug Baldwin healthy, you know. Uh, Denver, Denver should be better this year. You know, Keenum, you know, he, he's a decent QB, provide at least some stability. That, that was a big problem with them last year was the offense. Uh, this is a toss-up. I'll take Denver. Uh, but Russell Wilson will score 35 points because uh, I got him in uh, one of my leagues. Uh, Washington at Arizona, the uh, Adrian Peterson post-Vikings grudge match game, if you will. Um, I, I mean, I don't know. Is Peterson going to get the job done uh, with the Redskins? I mean, y- y- you know. I mean, if he does, I mean, Redskins could be halfway decent you know, because they got some they got some skilled players there in the veteran QB, um, especially if Jordan Reed stays healthy. Arizona, you know, they're you know, they're in the middle of the pack, too. You know, Bradford's decent. They get David Johnson back. They got some good receivers to go with Fitz. Uh, this game's a toss-up, but since Washington's in the NFC East, I'm going to pick against them. Uh, so I, th- I like Arizona in that game. Uh, Dallas at Carolina. Uh, Cowboys, uh, you know, seems like every other year, you know, they've been putting it together uh, under Garrett. So, you know, last year was kind of a flop, the Zeke suspension. Uh, held uh, you know it was a black cloud over that team uh, for most of the year. Even when he was in the game and was able to play. Uh, you know when's he going to get suspended? Is he going to get suspended? That kind of hung over them. They've moved past that. You know Frederick being out is, is, is a bit of a problem, but uh, it seems like at least with Dallas's O line, when somebody gets hurt, someone's able to step up. Uh, Carolina's a good team. Um, you know they they've got some big playmakers. Uh, this should be a good game. Uh, it'd be a nice fantasy game uh, if you got some players uh, in this one. I got Zeke in one of my leagues. I don't, I don't know if I have anybody on Carolina. No, I, I, I wasn't able to get anybody significant in Carolina. Uh, but it should be a good game. But I'm a Cowboys fan, so I'm picking the Cowboys. Uh, Sunday night, Chicago at Green Bay. You know, I like the Bears as a sleeper uh, this year. I think Trubisky, you know, takes a step up. He's got some weapons now. Uh, wide receiver, tight end, running back. Uh, that he should really make a a, a nice step forward uh, this year. And you know, if they weren't in the same division with, with Green Bay and Minnesota, I might I might maybe like them possible uh, you know dark horse playoff team. 
Um, but anyway, Chicago will be a nice fantasy team for once. Um, if you got some of the players there, uh, I'm looking for Allen Robinson to have a big bounce back here. And um, but Green Bay will win this game. I mean Aaron Rodgers. I mean I, I you know I tried to get Aaron Rodgers in all three of my leagues and and, and I missed out on all three. So you know, he went way too high uh, in all three of my uh, league drafts. But you know what? Congratulations. You know Aaron Rodgers. You know you're getting 30 points a game. So uh, Monday night doubleheader: the Jets at the Lions uh, is the early one. Uh, you know two teams that are you know maybe they'll be good. Uh, maybe they'll bottom out. Uh, I don't. I think Stafford's hit the ceiling in Detroit. You know he is what he is at this point. Um, the Jets. You know they're gonna throw out Donald. You know maybe he's the future. Maybe not. A lot of question marks in this game. Uh, and and really uh, from a fantasy perspective, I don't know who you get excited about in this game. Maybe Kenny Dot Galladay. Uh, maybe Carry On Johnson. But you know the only problem with him is they got you know, they got three other running backs there. But uh, this game's a toss up. I'll take Detroit. Uh, and then the late one on Monday night, we got the Rams and the Raiders. Uh, Rams, oof, I mean, you know, they're, they're, they're right up there. Uh, you know, if it weren't for New Orleans, you know, I might say the Rams might be the best team in the NFC right now. You know, other than the Cowboys, of course. But, um, you know, they get a tough assignment there because the Raiders, you know, they got Gruden back. Everyone's going to be fired up. It's going to be Monday night. Uh, you know, Carr's looking to have a bounce back here. Uh, Amari Cooper's uh, looking to have a bounce back here. Um, you, you know, the running game is a question mark. Um, I'll take the Rams in this one, but that that should be a fun, entertaining game. Um, and then we'll uh, we'll see what happens there. So, um, all right, we'll uh, we'll, uh, we'll we'll talk to you on Sunday. Uh, uh, we'll watch the Dallas game um, and uh, enjoy your uh, football weekend, guys. And gals.